Hi, this is Pastor Rick at Living Hope Baptist Church here in Hemet. I want to encourage you to come and to uh, visit us at 1020 a.m. on Sunday mornings here at 433 South Senecino Street in Hemet. And uh, I want to talk to you today about what do you do when your spiritual passion is low, when it's diminished, when you're having a struggle. Sometimes we have struggles in life. I want to read from 2 Timothy chapter 1. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, according to the promise of life which is in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, my dearly beloved son, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I thank God, whom I serve from my forefathers with pure conscience, that without ceasing I have remembrance of thee in my prayers night and day, greatly desiring to see thee, being mindful of thy tears, that I may be filled with joy when I recall to remembrance the unfeigned faith that is in thee, which dwelt first in my grandmother Lois and my mother Eunice, and I am persuaded that in thee also. Wherefore I put thee in remembrance, that thou stir up the gift of God, which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. You know, sometimes we uh, go through the grind of life, whether we're working, or whether we've got to deal with uh, other people, or we got to handle things that are going on in the economy, whatever is going on, and you can just get weary of dealing with all of it. You ever been there? And you need to get a boost. I want to say when your passion for the things that you used to love is dying down, you need to stir up the fire, okay? You need to get it stirred up again and get back in the game. Don't drop out, just stir it up again. That's what he meant when he said, stir up the gift of God. I want you to remember something. You are very precious to God, and therefore you're very valuable to me. Every person was created in the image of God. That means we're to reflect God's godly character qualities in our life, and every single one of us has been created to exercise certain gifts and do certain things of ministry for the Lord and to other people. So. When we get weary, sometimes in well-doing, or when we just get discouraged, down, we need to get stirred up again. One way you can do that is don't drop out of church. Get back into church fellowship. Come and worship with us. Celebrate with us. Study the Word of God together. Pray together with us. When you do that, that's part of how do you stir up the fire again in your life. When you're really down, you don't feel like being with other people. Am I right? You don't feel like it. However, I want to say, if you just stay home and have a pity party and turn the lights off and just sit in the dark, you're not going to get stirred up. You're not going to be more cheerful. You're not going to be able to have a more enjoyable life. Get up, open the curtains, turn on the light, get dressed, come to church. When you do, you're going to have a good time with us. You'll also be encouraged, and you'll have opportunities to actually be so high on Jesus that you're going to be able to minister to other people and encourage them. We all have our times when we need help and encouragement. You have a job to do. You need to get up, stir up that original fire that you had, come to church, and when you see somebody else that's just sitting there and they're having a hard day, Go over and let them know that you care about them and encourage them and tell them you're glad that they, you saw them there today. Maybe they made your day by being there and you had a chance to encourage them. It will encourage you to encourage someone else. It encourages them when you're there for them. Don't stay home with the curtains closed, okay? Got it? You come to church.